What's up guys, Theo here, doing a prediction for Luana Carolina versus Julia Stoliarenko. Right now, Julia Stoliarenko is a minus 120 favorite, and the comeback on Luana Carolina is plus 100 on DraftKings. And guys, I think Luana Carolina has got to be the pick here at plus money. I'm actually pretty surprised that she's the underdog in this matchup because, you know, Julia Stoliarenko is not good, and she has really not done anything in the UFC except she has two round one submissions against Jessica Rose Clark and Molly McCann, both of whom don't have grappling and are not really that good. And she's lost every other fight she's had in the UFC. So I'm not really seeing why she's the favorite here. I think it's the recency bias on the fact that Molly McCann was looking really good and then she submitted Molly McCann, but that really means almost nothing because Molly McCann has always been a very 50-50 fighter. She just hit a bit of a stride, and if she gets an opponent who stands up with her, she looks really good. I mean, she did knock out Luana Carolina, but guys, the MMA math ain't mathing on this fight because um, Luana is not going to look like that against Julia Stoliarenko. The thing about Luana Carolina is that she is beloved by the judges. She's one of these fighters, it's her and Ketlin Vieira. The judges absolutely love both of them. And if they are in any kind of fight where it's close at all and it goes to the judges, they will give it to Luana Carolina. Luana Carolina really doesn't, she doesn't do a ton in her fights. She's kind of like, reminds me of like a female, like a women's MMA version of like Sean Woodson. Uh, but doesn't have like really any of the like knockout potential or star power. And uh, she is just very tall and long, and that basically gets her to most of her wins. She faces better martial artists all the time, like Lupi Godinez, where they are way better fighters than her, but they just can't get in on her and get her down and make anything happen because she's gigantic for women's MMA and this weight class, and she's got good distance management, and she's really good at keeping people away. And she actually has really good submission defense. People don't think that because she got submitted by Ariana Lipsky, who ended up being trash. But she got caught in a really unfortunate submission there. And most people can't submit Luana Carolina. Most people can't do that. I think that was just like a, a, a random upset that happened. Ariana Lipsky had like a flash in the pan thing there. You know, she is good. She's not that good. So I don't rate that submission highly. And I don't think Julia Stoliarenko is going to be able to do that to Luana Carolina because... I mean, you go back and you watch uh, Julia Storego fight Molly McCann. She takes Molly McCann down with literally no resistance at all. I mean, it is like she looked like Khabib taking down Molly McCann or Islam or something because of how easy she made it look. And that's just because Molly McCann is not that good. And uh, Jessica Rose Clark has never really been a very good UFC fighter. She's one of those fighters that kind of manages to hang around because she's really hot. That's really the only reason. So Julia Stoliarenko's record is terrible. She has losses to like so many. She has, so, she has like three losses in the UFC. And she's only beaten two fighters by round one submission that are not good fighters. So, I mean, look... <laughs> She lost to uh, Chelsea Chandler, the chick who literally like went off sprinting, running away from Norma Dumont. She got taken down and beat up. And Luana Carolina doesn't really take girls down and beat them up against the ground, but she has been known to use ground and pound when she's defending submissions. And she's been put in hard submissions before and gotten out. So I don't see what the upside for uh, Julia Stoliarenko here. This woman has seven professional losses and only 11 wins. And she only has, I mean, she's got more losses in the UFC than she has wins. It's ridiculous that Luana Carolina is an underdog here. Luana Carolina has a win over Lupi Godinez, okay? I don't like Luana Carolina's fight style, but guys, like I said, she is just the judge's darling. I mean, if she, if you don't finish her and it goes to decision, she will win. The only exception to that is Joanne Wood, who Joanne Wood herself is pretty underrated. She has only really lost in the UFC to like the absolute best like household names if you go look at Joanne Wood's record and uh you know Joanne Wood has always been one to kind of like pull off victories that you don't think she can so I don't rate that loss against uh her that badly for Luana so 
at plus 100 odds. Give me Luana Carolina here all day. I think this is a no-brainer spot. Uh, it's women's MMA. It's always known to have upsets in it. And you've got uh, Luana Carolina, who's got better striking and is bigger and longer and has good takedown defense. I mean, you would never catch me betting Julia Stoliarenko at plus at, at favorite money here. Um, yeah, I think that's crazy. Uh, I would bet a lot of money on it myself, if not the fact that Luana Carolina has kind of been somebody that like shits the bed for me when I bet on her and when I bet against her she ends up looking like a world beater so I'm not going to bet money on it just because I don't have an amazing read on Luana Carolina but I know for a fact she should not be an underdog against Julia Stoliarenko because Stoliarenko submitted Molly McCann in round one with like a random like takedown uh yeah Luana Carolina here all day guys keep it locked in more picks coming later this week